recently completed my PhD in uh, th on thirty first March twenty twenty one, and my all experiences prior to this after my masters that I did in two thousand nine. Hmm. So will my experience be calculated? Yes, ma'am. See, experience get calculated after your bachelor's degree because they need skilled work experience. So one more thing, as my as I have done the regular PhD. So during PhD, my experience will be calculated uh, calculated as I was working at that time. Also. If you have done regular PhD, then you should be teacher in that particular college only. Uh, for two years in that particular college, and for another two years, uh, some other college. Then I can only take for two years of that particular college because in that, that particular college, I have worked from two thousand nine to two thousand seventeen. I think that can be taken. Nine to seventeen. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want nine. I want from twelve, thirteen to seventeen. Give me two thousand thirteen to seventeen bank statement. That's it. Just bank statements. Actually, I'll be thirty nine uh, next month. You're having ten years of experience. Yeah. Perfect. Such cash win. Best. But, With PhD. But you are calculating it from two thousand nine to two thousand seventeen, and I did my B Tech in two thousand three. At that time, I having four years experience, two thousand three to seven. I I need experience. Okay, tell me your experience after two thousand eleven. After eleven, actually after two thousand eleven to seventeen, I was in engineering college from where I was pursuing my PhD. Okay, in two thousand nineteen, I shifted to another college where I am presently working as an associate professor. Hmm. Which you are saying it won't be considered as my regular PhD is going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, for how many hours you used to be there in the college? Forty hours you, weekly. Can you do a small calculation? Okay, I sure. want your yearly hours of one zero three six hours. One zero three six. Yeah, it's a five day a week college or huh. eight hours a day. Yeah. Eight hours a day, fine. Then it's I. I only need two point eight hours per day. Okay. So it becomes one thousand thirty-six in a year. Okay. So if you can give give me this on a, a letter that okay, you are having this much time as your PhD study and this much time as your study uh, as your job in that particular college. That art thing. If you can make it more than one thousand thirty-six, then we can take your case. Yeah, I do not understand which college. Uh, currently, I am working on. Yeah, from where I did my PhD. Currently, where you are working? PhD one, it's fine because you are doing PhD in the same college and you are teaching students there only. Okay. That one is fine. But when you are changing campus, at okay. that time, I need all these things. Okay. Okay. That experience is not. Uh, uh, there is no issue if we are. Uh, we will show experience till two thousand seventeen. Ma'am, I need your ten years of experience, no? So you want to complete ten years? Otherwise, no such cash win. Just give me a minute. You are thirty nine. You said right? Yeah. Next. Uh, When are you turning forty? I'll be thirty nine in May. Okay. I'm thirty eight right now. Okay. Advance. Fine. Okay. Uh, your marital status? Uh, married. Uh, your spouse will be going with you? No. Spouse, no. Uh, your age? You told me thirty-eight. Nine, thirty-nine. You consider actually? In May. Yeah. In Next May, month. I'll be thirty-nine. So things won't be processed before that. Yeah. Right. When is your PhD getting completed? It's completed on thirty first March. I'm ha uh, I'm having provisional degree right now. Yeah, fine. It hardly matters. Nice. You you came at the right time. Thirty first. It was good. And PhD is in which field? It's in uh, electrical engineering, power system. Okay. So, ma'am, four twenty nine is your CRS. Give a shot to Ontario. But if you give me this tenure of experience, you have a clear cut in uh, such cashment. Okay. 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 Thank you.